This is my trusty old chainsaw. This is a 71cc chainsaw. It's a good size for milling. It's a standard saw chain here. The teeth are sharpened so that one goes in one direction and the other is angled in the opposite direction, each at 30 degrees. The chain, on the other hand, is modified so that it has different shapes of teeth and the angles are not all the same. With this simple bolt-on sawmill attachment, I'll be able to rip out that lumber in no time. Now the first thing to remember is that safety is a top priority when you're working out in the bush. Medical attention is not readily available in case you have a serious accident. This chainsaw mill works really well though. Being able to use this has saved me a lot of work in trying to do things with logs. I can just mill out the boards and have the lumber that I need in no time. Once you get some practice in, this is a pretty easy way to make lumber. It's very pretty efficient too. This piece I'm taking off the top here will be used for siding. Now I'm cutting this five and a half inch thick piece. All I have to do is keep that log braced. This is a good example of why the log should be set up nice and steady. If it's moving around while you're trying to saw like this is here, it's not any fun. But once you get the log cut through, all I have to do now is take this piece that's cut on two sides and flip it up onto edge, and then cut one more flat surface, and I can make the whole thing into two by sixes in a pretty short amount of time. I use little wedges underneath the log to keep it standing upright after I get it set on edge. And it's just simply a matter of putting the guide on it and the depth setting is still at five and a half inches, so we'll cut it the right thickness. The only time I have to change the setting on the saw is after I make this cut, then I'll drop it down to inch and a half to make a inch and a half thick cut board. It's pretty important that you get your mill set up correctly. You want everything to be nice and even. Once you start making boards, it cuts pretty fast. I think it's a lot easier to cut from both ends of the log instead of carrying the saw back to the other end to start again. All the sawdust we're making is pretty popular with the livestock we have around here too. Just this easy to use a chainsaw mill to make your lumber. The good old chainsaw mill here worked great. We got some boards made. Now what? Well, I got some one by cut here that says slab wood. We can use this for whatever kind of project we happen to be doing that we need some one bys for that don't have to be square on the edge. I also got some two by six cut. These are eight feet long, and they're nominal cut, so they're an inch and a half thick and five and a half inches wide. Got five of those. Not too bad. That was one log and about a half hour's worth of work.